the vernal equinox marks the first day of spring early next week. Now, Amy Kress from the Imagination Station joins us now to show us two spring-like experiments. Welcome in, Amy. Thank you. Yeah, well, as we know, on the, equ the um, vernal equinox, mm -hmm. we have this myth that's been going on for a long time. I've heard this. That only on that day can you balance an egg on its end. And we have three eggs bouncing up here, right? Okay, it we have three eggs. Well, oh. one just, I just bumped the table, so <laughs> one fell right. down, but that's okay. Oh, and there it goes We two. get the idea. <laughs> that's it's, okay. The, you, gotta be, you gotta be very precise with this. So you want me to give this a try? Right, I, it's guessing. a complete myth. You can balance an egg on its end on any day. So I want you to try it out and see if I'm you can I'm guessing this is not off. easy. It's though. not easy. You're not gonna do it your first time, but okay. it's Does it matter which try? way you try it? Um, no, you really just have to get the right balance, the right balancing point. Um, the egg actually has a bumpy sort of texture on it, kind of forms a tripod at the bottom, and <laughs> it's harder than it looks, isn't it? I would you say so. You can sit here all day and try this out, but... Um, you have, do you have a, a tip for me to make this a little easier? Well, if you just can't stand it any longer, you're not getting it. There we go. We actually have a little... Oh, there you go. I got it. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, you have that to let works. go of it, though? Um, no, you're fine. Salt okay. actually can help us out a little bit, though. So if we put some salt down, and you go ahead and try it again, I'm going to try it over here, too. Okay. You may be a little better at it. Okay, so the, the salt, I've had a lot of practice. The salt has um, kind of a cube shape. Okay. And that's going to hey. help balance our egg a little bit. Can you get it? You're almost Maybe. there. You're almost there. Sometime by the end of it. Oh, there we go. Awesome. You did it. <laughs> All right. Awesome. All right. Well, if you try this at home and you just don't have the patience to do this, there's another kind of activity you can try that has to do with eggs. Okay. And a couple other household items. Now, we have these colorful beakers here. Just go you ahead and pick one of those out. Bring one over? Yeah. Okay. So, we're going to be trying an egg drop. Okay. So Sounds messy. <laughs> It can be. It can be. It can be. Okay, so, my kind of experiment. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to set the egg right here. You can just use a toilet paper roll, okay. um, a pie plate, and you can use just a cup of water or something like that. Now, what you're going to do is try to get the egg to fall straight down into my beaker down here. Okay. Without touching the egg or the beaker, so you only want to hit the pie pan. All right. And I get, is everything okay over there? i got to give it a pretty good whack, don't I? You can. This is a secret. You need to chop and stop. That's okay. what we call it. The imagination chop station. And chop and stop. Okay. Chop and stop. Okay. <laughs> so, let's give you a countdown. I have not practiced this. Okay. Countdown. <laughs> Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, perfect. Great nice. job. All I right. like making a mess. This is, science is fun. It is. This actually has to do with Newton's first law of motion. It's all about inertia. You know, the thing about objects at rest stay at rest, objects in motion stay in motion. I thought it was about mom's law. Don't make a mess in the kitchen. <laughs> that too, that too. <laughs> well, our egg's at rest right here, and it has its own inertia. So even when we move everything else out of the, out of the way, our egg stays exactly where it is. Okay. okay, but I think that was a little too easy for you. All right, what we, we have time for one more little quick thing. Little, all right, what do you got we're going to try a triple egg drop. We're going to do three at the same time. Can you pull it off? Uh, we'll give it a try. I think you can do it. All right. Okay, so triple the egg. You need triple the force to hit it. Okay. Okay, so. I think I knocked that one out of the park the first time. Right. We need to make sure everything's lined up here. Okay. And when we put our eggs on, we want to make sure they're on their side. Okay, that's the key part. That is the key. Okay. All right, this is the potential for a mess. I think you got it. I think you can do it. All right, ready? Three, two, two one. one. Okay, two, out, two of three. out of three. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, very cool. Well, you guys are going to be rocking it out, of course, as you do every weekend at the Imagination Station. So if people could check that out this weekend, especially as you get that spring fever, you want to check out some fun science experiments for the kids. So, Amy, appreciate you coming in and showing us a little bit of science that you guys do every single day at the Imagination <laughs> Station. Yes. Now, up next, 